Yo, what's going on today? I really want to just give a reminder, a sort of uh, a nod to sort of documenting the work. And I'm not talking about sort of like the, the process in terms of time lapse. I'm talking about the idea of documenting the tools and materials and the colors that you're using in your project. So whatever it is, you want to make sure that you document uh, that as much as possible because you know, as artists, we're always thinking about short term, but when we think about our artwork, we want it to last for a long time. So we have to think about the idea of maintaining it uh, and fixing it or restoring it, you know, years and years and years from, from now. So the idea of documenting your work or documenting the tools and medium and sort of the colors that you're using can really help when sort of going back into the past and sort of referencing, okay, what was I using in the studio? Or what was this other artist using in the studio? So I'm actually working on a sort of uh, interior mural for this place called Company X. I'm doing a ton of sort of co-working spaces in this building and the lobby area. And it's basically just background colors. But whenever I go to a paint shop, I'm always picking up those cards to sort of get different colors of uh, gallon paints and everything. But I make sure that I keep them. So that way, if I need to go back, you know, later down uh, in a year or two, later down the line, I'm able to easily, okay, figure out, okay, what color was I using? What colors were I using for reds or blues or green? This is something that I usually go back to and reference whenever I need to restore a piece, especially if it's street art, uh, but more so, you know, just murals. Because it's a co-working space, this thing's gonna get beat up a little bit. I'm gonna clear coat it, they're gonna protect it, but I can always give the company uh, this apartment complex basically the colors that I'm using so that they know exactly uh, What colors to use to fix the piece that is something that I always sort of make sure that I do Sometimes I have to be reminded, but I always try to make sure that I document it some form or fashion So keeping cards it could be writing it down making sure I bookmark the website that I get materials from so whatever medium you're using whatever sort of uh, sort of type of art form you're into make sure that you document the work that you're doing. One thing that we sometimes forget is that there's an entire department in a museum that is dedicated to restoring pieces. And this department really focuses on analyzing the materials and uh, so sort of the colors that you know an artist was using and you know their intentions and figuring out how can they sort of replicate that to sort of fix a piece because as artists put their work into the world you know the world happens things happen you know it gets torn you know maybe it's a, a quilt that gets torn a little bit or you know a painting starts to fade things like this happen ah, oh. 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, oh, Jesus! God! Oh, Mary, Mother of Jesus! Jesus of Nazareth! So there's an entire department that will, you know, actually fix a piece. Those, so there's artists that will, you know, analyze exactly what an artist was using back in the day, you know, the colors and, you know, what, you know, formula was this oil paint in and figure out how to fix the piece. Maintenance is really, really important. And I think we don't sort of uh, emphasize that enough, but I just wanted to make sure that I emphasize that today, that it's super important to sort of document that stuff. So like when you go to a gallery and you see under the title of the card the materials that were used people are really interested in the materials that you're using so make sure that you uh, spend time not only creating the piece and documenting the process but also documenting the tools the materials and the colors that you're using a hundred years from now when you passed away and it's in a museum and someone wants to restore it to display it you know they're able to sort of figure out exactly um, how to restore it and the stuff that you use to do uh, your piece so that they can easily restore it. So that is something that I really, really, really wanted to say today. Um, so hopefully that helped out. Uh, document it any way you can and I will see you next uh, week. Peace.